what's up YouTube clean cuts the one back with another video reporting live from my closet because when you got to get it done you got to get it done and right now I got stuff to do we got a lot of stuff going on so I got to get this out we're gonna jump right into this fade with this texture top and the design a couple things went on while we were doing it let's get right into it all right y'all so this kid came in messy this is one of our back to school kids cuts and this dude really had a problem as you can see he's not been in a long time he let his hair grow out all summer but he came back and he brought me a picture of this textured top uh, fade with the design and to be honest it's a cut that I've not performed before uh, but I have done things similar to it. it's kind of like a crop with a fade type deal but you know I've been a licensed professional for five years now so at this point I ought to have enough knowledge in my database through education to be able to pull this off so what you're seeing right now is some very um, very not precise shear work uh, because I got to remove some bulk we got a ton of bulk up here that I just got to get rid of. So I'm just going all over. I'm going to go down my three rows and then I'm going to cross check and make sure just, you know, I need about two and a half inches of hair to work with before I put the texture on. So that's all I'm doing right now is just getting rid of all that mess, man. He brought in like a rat's nest. And this kid was cool. He was uh, really excited to get his hair cut. So now we're going to blow dry it into place uh, because when I do my fade work, I want to be able to know uh, what it looks like on top so I can fade into my shear work. So it's always good just to kind of see how it's supposed to look. And also I want to dry it before I texturize it. So I'm just going to run down those three rows again and throw some texture in it. And, uh, you know, after I put the texture in it, it's pretty, it, once again, it's not very precise. But once I'm done, I'm going to kind of wiggle his hair around and see how the texture looks and you know I'm gonna act like I'm doing something it's it's really just uh, you know just cutting the chunks in there and uh, the kids gonna be happy with everything but I'll tell you man if there's something that you like in skill you can make up for it with your service like if you make the kids happy like when this kid found out he was gonna be in a YouTube video he was so amped it didn't matter what I did to this haircut to be honest with you um, but I make the kid feel good, you know, make your clients feel good. Let them feel relaxed, you know, actually provide a service rather than selling them a haircut. And for you new barbers, that'll make a huge difference. Uh, to be honest with you, I still feel like being licensed for five years, like I just said, I feel like the majority of my, um, the majority of my paycheck comes from the service that I provide. This is similar to block graduation. I just prefer to put in my guideline with a clipper over comb. And if you've watched any of my other videos, I'm just kidding, I only put out one. But if you've watched the other video, uh, you know, I told you that I, I generally do left, then right, and I bring everything around in the back. I'm all about guidelines because guidelines help me with symmetry. Um, you know, I'm not one of those barbers that can just take off and put the lines in and everything. Like, I'm not naturally artistic or talented. Like, I've had to learn everything as I go. So, um, sometimes I'll put a line in and I just got to follow it up. And I'll go over a line two or three times. And the part about this being a guideline, I'm actually going to end up raising it up later on. But for right now, I just need to make sure that I give myself ample space to work under. I got my one and a half open, just removing the bulk. Got to get rid of it. Again, just like I went through with those shears earlier on, I'm just clearing bulk. I'm not even performing any haircut stuff right now. All I'm doing is trying to build myself a canvas that I can work from. And this is a, a unique canvas. This is, you know, kids, their skin's a little bit different. Uh, he's got that thick, blonde hair that just wants to puff up all the time. Very light. It's almost like a head full of vellus hair. But it, uh, it, it wasn't that bad, you know. You can see the dude's hunched over. You can see the back of his neck, man. Oh, and he wanted this design right here. So I'm just starting at the corner and bringing it down. And I'm using these uh, Gamma Evos, but man, they didn't really do what I needed them to. Uh, if you watch my Evo review, um, those blades move so fast that if you're moving the trimmer sometimes, they won't cut the hair because the blades almost move too fast. If you're doing the taps, you're in there. You're not going to miss. There's not a hair that's going to make it out alive. But if you're moving the blade or if you're moving the trimmer to do a design, sometimes, man, it can really 
uh, it can cause a problem as far as, you know, not cutting the hairs. That's where the babyless skeletons come in, you know. You guys know that. A lot of these kids came in getting designs for school. I was thinking, man, when I was in school, we weren't even allowed to have designs. Now these kids are getting designs on their first day of school. So he wants like this fade coming up to the design. And I just set in, you know, I'm, I'm real big for just setting in like guidelines for like getting getting a foundation down and then I'll come back and then I'll do my, my detailing. So like all I want to get in right now is get, you know, my guidelines in, get a little baseline fade in and then I'll come in and detail everything else. And a uh, transparent moment right there, you see the bottom of that's off? It's just straight up off. Look at these babylesses going to work, man. I bought so many tools recently, I can't remember what they're all called. But yes, down at the bottom, that is uneven. It is, uh, it's it's not straight. It didn't go with the curvature of where it was headed, but it's cool. We can fix all that as we go. That's one of the cool things about hair, man. You can always erase. You can always improvise. Just don't panic. And you know what? If you mess up something, it's cool. You can always fix it. So right now, I'm just, you know, uh, no guard open so it's a half coming up to the line it's gonna add a little bit of emphasis I'm just I'm trying to copy this kid's picture and this kid brought me a picture y'all ever have people that come in and they bring you pictures of these haircuts that are literally just painted on it's like a blonde headed kid with the most vellus hair you ever saw brings you like a picture of this Puerto Rican elegance model with like all this black stuff on his face and in his hair it'll be like curly hair and they'll be like yeah i want that and it's like bro you can't have that you don't have the hair texture for that you don't have the contrast in your skin to be able to pull that off you don't have enough money for me to put that much paint on your face i don't have the time so we're just going to give you uh, uh we're going to give you the clean cut version the 45 minute version of what you're asking for so i put the line in and i'm going to detail that line a little bit more later on it's actually i'm going to have to kind of improvise because towards the back i didn't even really know what i was doing i had to figure out as i was going but one of the keys is that while I'm doing this whole cut, I'm talking to the kid. I'm really, uh, I'm just being his friend, man. These kids love it, especially at this age when the barber is the friend. I don't know if you guys know how much these kids look up to you, but they really do. They think barbering is cool. They look us as like a tangible ideal of what they want to be like when they grow up. So it's really important that we set a good example and that we, you know, show these kids how to be men, what it means to be a man, you know, when they grow up. Um, and so you can see I'm just working the fade on here I went from uh, the zero to the half and now I got my half guard and I open my half guard all the way up just trying to take it down and then I'm gonna you know close it up and I'm just gonna tighten it up a little bit and so here's where some of the improvise comes in uh, it's it's I've come all the way down this picture was a bald fade uh, with the design and it was like a weird bald fade and you of course he only brought a picture that shows me one side of the haircut so I gotta like imagine what this haircut's supposed to look like on the other side. I don't know how to do that. I told you, I'm not really that creative by nature. Like I can try to pull something off that you're showing me, but like when it comes time for me to be creative, I'm just gonna do what makes sense. And so what makes sense is for me to try to do on the other side what I did on the other side minus the design and then try to like blend it all in somehow truth be told as i'm sitting here going i'm literally freestyling this cut sit up sit up put your head down can y'all relate when these kids sit here like i can't like ah uh, here i want you to cut the back of my neck like this yeah if you just get in there i'm just gonna hunch down like this or i'm gonna sit here and have you fade the sides but i'm just gonna sit like this with my ipad we're not doing that a clean cut grooming lounge you're gonna sit up sit up listen Stop struggling, breaking your back with these kids. Tell them to sit up if they're not sitting up. All right? <sighs> Thank you. Now that I said that, now that I said that, still doing the bald thing, trying to figure out how I'm going to make this point, like, look good. How am I, again, I only saw one half of what this haircut's supposed to look like. So here I am improvising. Okay, so I'm going to do, like, the little point thing. It's going to be like the... You know the little the little point thing with the thing. That's that's what we're gonna do. It's it's gonna be an original. So I'm cleaning him out, and now we're just gonna start with the bald fade. Again, this is a uh, a bald fade with the design texture on the top. 
basically these kids just want to look cool when they go to school. You know, they don't want anything basic on day one, so try to give them what they want. I gotta tell you, man, these JRL Fresh Fade 2020 Cs, that's what I'm using. Um, I'm in the middle of doing a review on them right now, and these things have really helped my haircuts. I've talked to you before about, you know, it's not the clipper, it's the barber, but I'm here to tell you, man, like, updating my tools has helped my fades. Uh, updating my equipment has actually, you know, helped my... Uh, help me be inspired to cut hair like I'm getting made fun of for being inspired again. I love it I love that. I love to come into work early. I love that. I'm having fun again Because um, I'm not gonna lie man 2020 was rough And I know y'all know 2020 was rough on you 2020 was rough on me but man like I went through a lot and it took a lot of the fun out of You know, it's almost like some of us went on survival mode it was hard. But anyways, I'm not trying to get all off on that. Anyways, I'm so glad to have new clippers. And, and I'm glad my fade game is coming back. Like, it's it's getting better. I've been getting compliments around the shop. and Because, you know, again, I've not really been known for doing the best haircuts in my shop. Like, I've got some incredibly talented barbers that work at Clean Cut Grooming Lounge. And so it's, like, crazy. I'm just inspired all the time. To be honest with you, between the expo, the barber shop, like... I don't know what I'm doing with none of this. So I'm just kind of doing the best I can as I go and making mistakes, doing better sometimes. But right now I'm in this zone of like haircuts. Like I want everything to be the best haircut that I can make it. And I know it's, you know, they're not all coming out like the best haircut that's ever walked out of the shop, but I'm really having a lot of fun and my paycheck is showing it my income from the haircuts when I when you translate the passion into the haircut and also add the service with it that's the formula I mean that's the formula translate the passion into the cut add the service and you're gonna win every time every time so I'm going in with the one open. Just again, now I'm raising this guideline up. Again, remember it was a guideline. So I'm raising the guideline up because um, I'm just kind of doing this haircut intuitively. Uh, and then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna close the guard. I'm gonna do the closed, middle, open technique, just raising the fade up. Um, you know, detailing a little bit. Again, like I said, I like to put the guidelines in and then after the guidelines in, I can come back and detail as I go. But literally, y'all, this whole haircut is like a freestyle because this type of design thing, I haven't done before. And if I do this haircut again, it'll be even better next time. But this being a first, um, sometimes you just gotta roll up your sleeves and dive in. Confidence goes a long way. And in the eyes of like your clients, which are the only eyes that matter, they loved this. This was 10 out of 10. They were going nuts over this design. They were loving it. Um, you know, and then you come back to your peers and you see, you know, you can see the mistakes that you made. You can see where you could have done better. And that's all good because I plan to do better. So now I had this idea of like, let me just make this a little bit more of a scratch right here. I'll fade it in and then that'll be the design. So that's how I came up with that. So I've noticed on these designs, one of the things that you can do if you ever make a design off or you ever like do it wrong, you can make one end wider and the other end a point. And that generally seems to help, you know, that can help you uh, make a curve that you didn't make before or it can help redefine some lines that need a little more definition. And right now I got this too open because I just need to get rid of a little bit more of that fringe to make the blend look like I want it to look. Same thing on the other side, just getting rid of some of that fringe so I can have a little bit more area for my shears to work and for my clipper comb to work. I'm trying to maintain as much of that crown as I can, but the direction on this haircut is a forward direction. So I don't need his crown to lay down in the back. However, I don't want it standing straight up. So uh, right now you can see I'm just barely hitting the ends of those hairs that are hanging over, that are disrupting the silhouette. I'm trying to have a vertical silhouette with a round back with that forward motion coming off the front with the texture. And uh, clipper over comb generally helps me 
do the shape. So I come back with this one and a half. This is uh, something like a guideline. But when I look in my mirror, and I hope you're using your mirrors, your mirrors will never lie to you. I'm using this one and a half to raise the guideline up again and to make room for me to work with my shears because it's almost shear time. Those mirrors, man. If you're not using your mirrors, do yourself a favor. In between every guard, check yourself on the mirror. Look at the cut in the mirror. It's going to tell you where you need to do a little bit more work, where you could put the clippers at, where you might do some shear work. It makes a huge difference. And you can see I'm just going around his uh, around his parietal ridge with some shear over comb, and I'm just hitting those little itty bitty hairs that would distract or disrupt from the silhouette. Now I want you to pay attention right now to that little bump. You see that little bump on the back of his head? I'm cleaning up the fade with the shear over comb, but clipper over comb helps me really form that crown with the round shape and get that forward motion. Because by the time I throw the texture in uh, and stand this hair up, it's gonna be moving forward in that shape. So hope that explains that pretty well. So on this lineup, I spend most of my time trying to get rid of the vellus hair. Gotta get rid of that forehead hair. Man, them kids be growing hair all the way on their eyeballs. It's like the hair that they came out of the womb with or something. I don't know how they get hair so far down on their forehead at that age, but usually when you remove that, uh, it helps the lineup to stand out a lot more and look a lot better. Anytime you do a design, anytime you do a part, always razor it out. It makes a huge difference when you clean your designs out, you clean out your lines with the razor. And it also gives you an opportunity to sharpen things up more than you can with the blade. I know a lot of people, they use their trimmers to make all their designs. I've seen some really good work with only trimmers, but for me, detailing with the razor allows me to put detail into the work that, to be honest with you, I would have had a hard time achieving if I hadn't used the blade. It helps some of those curves really look like curves and uh, really just make everything look nice, sharp, crisp, and intentional. I love this uh, Victory Crown texturizing spray. Absolutely love it. I'm just gonna throw that in, hit it with the diffuser. This helps bring that texture out that I cut in. When you put the texturizing spray in there, then hit it with the diffuser, it kind of just automatically brings that texture out. And I'm gonna ruffle it around with my hands. And we just about got a finished cut here. You know, dude's going back to school. Got the look of approval. He's ready to go. That's a cut. It's a wrap, guys. is i want to say thank you all for checking out this video man i hope you guys are liking this new style i hope you guys give me the thumbs up i did just record this thing with my kids in the living room from my closet if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit the button i'm gonna put it right here i'm practicing on where i'm putting my things put it right here hit the subscribe hit the bell so you get notifications and i'm gonna keep dropping them i'm not done the wind is at my back and I'm trying to take as many people with me as I can. If you're going to be in CT, I'm going to see you next week. Don't forget, after CT Barber Expo, October 23rd and 24th, Tennessee Barber Expo, www.tnbarberexpo.com. You can see all of that stuff in the comments. Check out the description of this video for a ton more information. And I'll see you guys soon. Until next time, peace.